Hi, I'm Kim from Griffin Occupational Therapy and today we are going to do fine motor activities with Kim. This is the Friday and our last day of the week and today I'm really excited because we're going to be doing some cutting and some folding to make some little stand-up animals and I'm looking forward to that. But before we start we're going to warm up our body with our leg circles and then we'll get, get going, do some other activities with our fingers and then we can get going with our cut and folding. So let's get on with our leg circles. I've got a bit of a challenge for you at the end today. So let's do big circles with our leg. Pull all the way around and then the other way around. Hold onto the wall if you need to or hold onto a table. Just make sure it's something sturdy. And then change legs. Let's go around, big one. And the other way. Well done. Now, do you remember the last two days we've been practicing doing just our knee? So we're going to hold our leg up. Let's try and do five circles with our knee one way. Three, four, five. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's do the other leg round. One, two, three, four, five. And other way. Two, three, four, five. Now I've got a challenge for you today and I want to see if you can do just your ankle. So your ankle is this bit here between your leg and your foot. It's like your wrist but it's on your foot. So what I want to see if you can do is holding onto the wall, can you just make your ankle turn around and then try and make it go the other way. That's it and then we do the other foot so let's twist your ankle around three, four, five, and then let's go the other way. Well done. Let's try one more time the other foot. Let's do one, two, three, four, other way, two, three, four, and then other foot, two, three, four, and other way, two, three, four. Well done everyone for trying that one because that's a little bit tricky. So our learning objective for today is that you'll be able to cut out and then fold an animal to make it stand up. Okay, so let's get ready to make our putty peas. I've got a little bit of a challenge for you today. And we're going to try, we'll start with what we've already been doing and using our Peter Pointer and our thumb. Or if you're still using Peter Pointer, Ruby, uh, Toby Tool and thumb, that's okay. And if you still are finding it really tricky and you're making sausages, that's okay as well. But what I'd like you to do is do three with your pointer finger and thumb and then the challenge we're going to go for today I want to see if you can do Toby tall and thumb this is a challenge for children that are finding the others easy. If you need to make a sausage with Toby Tool and Thumb, that's okay as well. And then let's do one more with Toby Tool and Thumb. If you still need to get uh, Peter Pointer to help, that's okay. But for those that can, let's try and do Toby Tool. And then as a super challenge, I want to see if you can do baby small and thumb. So if it's a sausage, that's okay. We're gonna take a bit off. But if you can, you might need Ring to come in and help occasionally. But if you can do that circle with those three or 
those two, that's great. It is really tricky though, so try one more with thumb and ring and baby small and then hopefully, hopefully you can get it to just thumb and baby small at the end. That's it, now let's swap to the other hand. We're gonna do the same tomorrow, so it's okay if you can't do this today. One, let's do three with Peter Pointer. And let's try and do two with Toby Tall. It's okay if Toby Tall makes a sausage, I don't mind. Just want you to try and swap it out. That's it. And then let's use baby small and thumb and see what happens. Again, if Ruby Ring needs to come and help, that's okay. But once it's a sort of a ball shape, see if baby small and thumb can give it a bit of a roll around. And again, if you're making a sausage, that's also okay, especially if you're little. There we go. So today we're going to be doing cut and fold. I sent through a couple of options. There were some bunnies and some chickens and some eggs. Hopefully you've made a decision which one you want to cut out. If you're a little bit younger and cutting the shape is going to be too tricky, what adults can do is get a pen and draw a big rectangle around the shape and then that way you can cut on that big rectangle because I know that cutting straight lines is easier than cutting curvy lines. But if you want to try and cut around the bunny shape or the egg shape or the chicken shape, that's also okay. Now, just one word of warning for this bit here, I want your scissors to keep going down. So we're gonna come around the bunnies and then go down and then around onto the next bunny and around his ears. And the same here at his feet, keep going straight to the other foot. And that way, when we're finished, I can show you where we're going to do the folding. So if you cut out, it doesn't matter if I'm a bit quicker, you can always pause the, pause the film and then you can keep going with me once you're finished cutting. So let's cut him out. So there's my cutout bunny. It's okay if you're not finished cutting, you can just pause the film and then you can press play again when you're ready to keep going. Now, what we're going to do, see these two lines here underneath the bunny's feet? That's where we're going to do some folding. So we're going to turn it over so we've got the blank side up then what we're going to do is bend it until we can see that line and then I want you to squash it down. If you're a bit younger and you need help with the bending, that's okay. Your adults can do the bending and then I want you to take your pointer finger and go squash, 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 squash and squash that bit down. Now, then I want you to turn it around and I want you to bend the other side up, find that line, 
find your fingers, hold it with one hand and then squash it down and make a really nice fold. Because what that should now do is make your bunny stand up. And what you can do is take your glue or if you've got tape, you can use tape. And we're going to just take a little bit of glue, put a little bit of glue onto your bunny's ears. And then I want you to stick just the top of his ears together. So not all of him, just the top of his ears. So I just put a little tiny dot of glue onto those two spots. And then your bunny will stand up. If you want to for the rest of the day, you can do some colouring on your bunny. Uh, or mums and dads have also got the, the eggs and the chicken, so you can make some more uh, and keep going with them. And I'd love to see what you get up to. Thanks for joining this week. Make sure you post pictures of your animals onto social media for me, as I'd really love to see them. You can post them at griffin underscore ot on twitter or at uh, griffin sensory ot on facebook and i'd really love to see what you guys are uh, getting up to whilst you're at home with uh, with mums and dads i'm really looking forward to doing it next week as we're going to be doing origami so what you're going to need to join in is some colored paper or if you don't have color paper that's okay you can just use plain paper you could use newspaper if that's all you've got in the house as long as it's some paper that uh, you're allowed to sort of fold and cut and turn into different shapes that will be super just as a heads up the week after you are going to need some wool so that's just something to look for um, over the next week so you've got that ready and you'll also need some cardboard it doesn't need to be fancy cardboard we'll be cutting it up so it could just be the outside of a cereal box or any other sort of food box uh, and it, or if you do have cardboard at home that's great but it doesn't need to be fancy cardboard and just in a couple of weeks after that we're also going to need a toilet roll and a couple of sticks for sort of each child so just so that you're able to start looking for those bits and sort of have them in a box ready to go for when we need them.